Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jared's Bovet and Pavley.com. This is Cheyenne. She came to see me yesterday. It was a rather difficult day yesterday. Um, she has been vomiting since Friday, so vomiting for three days. She's been not doing well for actually quite a few weeks. She is an older girl. She's like 12 years old. She's a pit bull. Um, she is intact, so she is not spayed. That was her whole problem. Her mom never knew and no one ever told her that if you don't spay your dog, they can get a pyometra. So I'm on this pyometra kick these days, hard as I try and as much as I don't want to, that's what's going on in my life. Um, I got a call last week from somebody who had been to the ER and found us. They ended up going back to their vet so their vet could take them in that day and do the pyometra. They just couldn't afford to do it, the after night care. Um, I also got a couple of calls last week. Uh, one, of the, one of the clients called and said that the the ER had referred them to us so they it gave them some options about finding some lower cost options so we were super duper crazy excited about that this little girl had been given an option of $2,500 at the ER. We did her PIO here today. It was about $1,100. Um, she had a really significant infection. Uh, her uterus, when we took it out, weighed four and a half pounds. It was four and a half pounds of pus. So she is feeling much, much better. Her white blood cell count was very high. She is certainly a very sick dog. She is certainly still a very sick dog, but she will go home tonight feeling much better. And hopefully with a couple days of rest, fluids and antibiotics, she will be back on her feet and doing um, her normal stuff with her normal wag to her a couple of things that I want to talk about with spay, please talk to your veterinarian about spaying your dog. I know a lot of you either don't think you can afford it or you don't think that it's necessary. I tell people at some point I'm going to spay your dog, either because your dog has gotten a pyometra, in which case it might cost you somewhere between $1,000 and $4,000. Um, so don't wait till that happens. Don't be nervous about anesthesia. Don't think that it's too expensive. Find a low cost option. There are lots of them available locally. You can call your local shelters or rescues and ask them for some cost options and they can give you a list. You can even call here if you're local to our area. We're in Northern Maryland and we can give you people locally who'd provide low cost spays and neuters. Um, don't wait until it's a PIO. PIOs can be life threatening and they can be certainly very expensive. So don't wait till that happens. The next thing is if you do end up at the ER, ask for options. They might not always give them to you initially. Um, Obviously, we want you guys to get surgery first and foremost. That's the most proactive thing and safest thing that you can do. But for some people, unfortunately, that's cost prohibitive. If it's cost prohibitive, the key questions to ask are, how sick is my dog? Um, some of those things are determined by, is your dog wagging? Is the color good? Are they bright, alert, happy? Um, are they eating? Can they keep food down? What does the discharge look like? Those kinds of things. Um, the other things that can be helpful are asking if it's an open pyometra versus a closed pyometra, and then getting some understanding of what the blood cell count the white blood cell count looks like so the degree of infection those are all pretty key points um, if your dog is critically ill meaning if they're ill they're down and out there's you know discharge or there's a very distended belly ask about putting your dog on IV fluids and antibiotics and be very aggressive with the fluids and the antibiotics sometimes that can buy you some time sometimes it buys you 12 to 24 hours which can make your options of going back to your veterinarian or a lower cost spay and neuter clinic a little bit better so talk to them about that the cost for that might be in the hundreds of dollars instead of the thousands of dollars and at least get your dog through overnight with the vital fluids that they need and the antibiotics that they need that's another good place to start um, from there get up in the morning and ask for options or ask your veterinarian to go through the the items on the invoice line by line so ask for all of the things that are on that estimate that they gave you for the pyometra and start working from there. Um, when she came to me yesterday, she was significantly dehydrated. She was very sick. So we at least started on fluids and antibiotics. When she came in this morning, we started on aggressive IV fluids and IV antibiotics that got her stabilized a little bit better than she was. Um, and she's doing much better now. So this is my pyometra story. It's sort of become my latest life mission to get these girls the surgery that they need at a price their parents can afford. So wish, wish little Cheyenne luck. She certainly needs needs it. She's come a long way and she's feeling much, much better. I hope to follow up this video with her tomorrow or the next couple of days walking, wagging, and back to her normal stuff. It's her normal self. Please spay your dogs. It's super duper important. If you are unfortunately end up at a veterinarian's office with a pyometra, please talk to them about options. There are some options for you that might make it more affordable. And then look for places where you can get the surgery done at a price that's better for you guys. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime at pobly.com or here at Jared's Vet. Take care, everybody, and be well. Bye.